Welcome to Down the Line. So today we're going to be taking a look at the CI Fish. Um, so this is a board from Channel Islands, Brick Merrick. Um, it's available in two constructions. So we've got the Spine Tech like this, and we've also got it in the PU construction as well. It's a really fun little performance fish. It kind of blends that classic keel fin fish feel with modern day performance as well. So it's a real, real little winner. Um, so taking a look at the plan shape, you've got plenty of width up in the nose and a lot of foam under your chest there, so these things paddle really, really well. Um, it's a relatively flat rocker, just a nice little bit of lift in the nose there. Um, and on the bottom, we've got quite a deep single concave into a subtle double kind of through the back part of the board. Um, all these factors kind of combine and just produce something that is fast, it kind of has got all that get up and go, speed off your front foot that you want, you know, um, you kind of, you can point it down the line and it really wants to go. Um, but then if you look at the rails and the tail, it features a really nicely thinned out, refined rail and nicely refined tail. Um, so all these factors mixing together are just meaning you're getting something that really feels positive and feels like it wants to project down the line, but then when you get it in the pocket, you can really turn these boards as well. Um, I've been surfing one a lot around here, so kind of used it in a really wide range of conditions. I was surfing at 5'10", I'm um, around 95 kilos, and that felt great for me um, float-wise and performance-wise, it felt really good. Um, surfed it in, in a, yeah, all sorts, from kind of the smallest waves possible, kind of like knee to waist high, um, which that was, those are the kind of days you I probably would normally be on a mid-length or something, but I took this thing in just to try it out. I was, was surfing it in the spine tech as well, um, and I thought the spine tech felt phenomenal. Even on those really small days, it just has got so much pop and just feels like it really wants to generate speed and go down the line, so I loved it. Um, I even got the chance to surf it through a really wide wave spectrum, so kind of just some pretty good days or average days, even on a couple of days where it was a bit bigger um, overhead, and the thing still felt like it held in really, really well. Um, you can kind of draw a nice line, it was, turns really nicely in the pocket and feels reliable, kind of hitting sections or coming back down <coughs> on a steeper drop. So it's a really good little all-round fish, I would say. There isn't a lot of conditions that you probably wouldn't want to take this out thing, this thing out in, you know? You're going to have a fun surf on it in a really wide range of conditions. Um, as I said, it is available in the two constructions. You can get it at the PU or you can get it in the Spine Tech. Spine Tech is a phenomenal technology, so it features um, it features a spine, which is inlaid into the board here. These things are crazy. So we have Brit America down in the shop with us uh, kind of a couple of months ago, and he's explaining about how the spine tech works. It is amazing. The carbon rod, that before it's laid in the board, you can literally get it and bend it kind of back on itself, and it'll twang back to its original position. So it's great at harnessing that kinetic energy. It keeps its flex for the lifetime of the board, so as opposed to a PU stringer, it's going to keep flexing for the whole time. The kind of PU boards can feel a little bit dead after a number of years because um, they've only got so much flex in them whereas the spine tech is designed to retain that flex and give more flex for a longer period of time so it is a real winner it does feel lively under your feet you can really notice a big difference um, i'm a big fan of it um, fins wise the obvious choice for this board are the almeric keels from futures um, quite a unique fin we've been using these a lot and they feel great not only in the ci boards They've been going great in a lot of the other kind of fishes and twin fins that we sell here at Down the Line. And yeah, it's a really nice template. It's kind of bigger than, say, a K2. It's a bigger template. Um, and it, it is designed to work well on this board. That's a no-brainer. But they're also a fin that you're going to use in a range of other boards that give you a different feeling, especially if you've already got a fin such as a K2 or something like that. This is something a little bit different, so well worth it, especially if you're going to be getting a CI fish. Um, if you've got any questions about the board, Feel free to give us a call at the shop anytime, drop us an email or head over to our Instagram and drop us a message.